guys, Mrs. Ostia here. Today we're going to talk more about tens and ones. And I have an I can for us to read. I can draw tens and ones. Well, when we've been adding in class in the past, we know that there are lots of different strategies for adding and making numbers. We can use cubes, we can use any objects, we can use our fingers, we can use a number line, we can draw, and there are lots and lots of strategies that help us add and make numbers. So today I thought we would learn how to make tens and ones because as we get further into math class, we're going to talk about adding big numbers and being able to draw them and count them easily is going to help us with our addition. So let me show you how to draw tens and ones in a simple way. Now I say simple because this is not art class. We don't need a lot of details. We don't need to draw every single cube that we count. We're going to draw so we can count simply and easily for math. So this is the number 47. It has four tens and seven ones. And I've drawn those underneath. Notice I did not draw all the cubes in my tens rods. I only drew simple sticks. Notice how they are separated. They're nice and neat. They're not overlapping. And they're not too long and they're not too short. So I have one, two, three, four tens. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones to show 47. I know this is 47 because I can count it. I know the value of these rods. They equal 40. Let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40. Stop. Now I'm going to count on my ones. 40, 1, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. I have 47. So keep it simple, folks, drawing your tens and ones.